What are some of the values that your parents passed on to you that you think are important for future generations? Well, the thing that stands out in my mind and that I don't believe I will ever forget, uh, during a particularly tough time in the economy, uh, my father wasn't working, my mother was working part-time, and she made for dinner one night a huge bowl of soup. And I looked at her and said, Mama, who's all the soup for? She says, well, I made double for the Ray boys down the block who, believe it or not, have less than we do. And so what did that teach you? It taught me, it taught me that you must be concerned about your fellow people. It taught me that you are, it taught me, I, I, as far as I was concerned, I was my, my fellow keeper. And uh, I am particularly feeling good about it right this very minute because you're asking me these questions and they have questions that I've held inside of me. So it's a pleasure to get them out. Mm, Jack, that's awesome. Yeah, I think what you're saying is so interesting because it really speaks to the idea of being a good neighbor, right? And I feel like that's something that was always so important in our society and maybe is um, starting to dip a little bit. And what you're saying is that that's part of one of those core um, elements of, of your personality, of, of your perspective on the world is to, to share. That's amazing because you have been so philanthropic and you've done so much for other people. Do you think it really comes back to your mother making that pot of soup? That has come back to me a thousand times. Wow. I, uh, I have helped some people. I have tried to get them to help themselves. And in private conversations, I've been able to mentor people who are trying to make it in this world. And they're always stunned by the fact that I say there is more opportunity today than ever before. But when, my, when I saw my mother do this, it sort of sank in so that I felt that the real purpose, one of, the, one of the real purposes of being on this earth is to be helpful to your fellows. I think the uh, amount of hatred and viciousness that's going on, now you're talking to a veteran with decorations I've been shot at. I've almost been killed many times. But uh, what is going on today is, is everybody seems to be bitter about everybody else. And I think it's time to return to some civility, both in our uh, domestic attitude and in our foreign affairs. What can we do to bring about, to your mind, more peace in the world? There does seem to be so much conflict. To your estimation, how do we, how do we change that? How do we bring about some more peace? We have to believe it, and we have to not blindly believe it, but, but believe it in effect. Uh, so many wonderful things have happened, and so many people have done uh, good deeds for other people without cause, uh, without looking for compensation. And even at this point, at 92, and the thing that I hope I can pass on to you and to everybody else in their middle ages or younger years who are listening, is that it's a habit that if you get into, 
you'll find yourself a much happier person in later life.